All right, I put my phone into a safe for seven days. 24 seven, baby. I wasn't alone. I was together with 16 other students. Hey! Oh wait, yes, these are teachers. They came up with the idea and thought, hey, we, ha we have a YouTuber on this school. Maybe he could hype it a little. Maybe because getting rid of your phone for seven days just for fun isn't really a thing or an intriguing thing to do. So why did I join? Why have you done that? Nou, eerst was ik nog redelijk bang <laughs> en ik wilde echt niet meedoen. En, uh, maar toen ging ik eigenlijk meer nadenken over, ja, ik, ik zit er eigenlijk ook wel echt heel veel op. En ik zit er ook echt te veel op en ik zit er ook niet altijd op en dan, dan is het nuttig, zeg maar. Dus uh, toen had ik eigenlijk wel heel veel zin in. Uh, mijn vriendin niet, nee, niet, niet, had niet zoveel zin in. En honestly, I thought it was a good challenge. This is what happened. We all came here for one main question. What can we expect? Uh, are we gonna lose all our friends? Are we going to die? She knows a lot about this subject. She's been working in the industry for over 10 years. She's done similar experiments to this one. So she kind of knows how our brain will react to this and what's gonna happen. According to the doctor, the first few days will be extra stressful because everything we do is on our phone. If we want to take a picture, it's with our phone. If we want to contact someone, it's with our phone. We do everything with our phone and now we can't. But as the days progress, she hopes and thinks that we will see that we don't really need her phone as much as we think we do. We're gonna find out. Here, the first problem already starts. I'm sort of in the middle of a conversation. He still needs to reply. So I'm saying, reply via email. Because this I won't read for a week and I want to know the answer. Um, I'm gonna send some people that they should contact me via email. Zo, we zijn begonnen. Het experiment is begonnen. You just... Where, where, where is it? Constantly. Seriously, constantly feeling. Feels like an empty pocket. Feels like it is an empty pocket. But seriously, missing something. Having the feeling you, you left something behind. You really missed something. You, you don't feel it. Empty pockets. And not missing as in I need to get on my phone right now. No, missing the, the feeling. The feeling of missing. Your phone, where do you use it for the most? Messaging people, messaging the world, letting them, letting the people know. I couldn't do that from second one, but that, that wasn't even that, that bad. The first actual problem I faced was my alarm. If I actually want to wake up on time tomorrow, tomorrow I have a radio interview. I need, I need this. This is not mine. I, I stole this from my girlfriend. I never actually used an alarm like this. I always use my phone. Yeah. Okay, get my mind off the phone thing. Yes, you just gave away your phone for a week. Let's do something else. Okay, let, let's work out. Music. Okay, so a problem I, uh, I have encountered is this. Where's my music? <laughs> Spotify is my music. Spotify is on my phone. I don't have Spotify here. <laughs> so working out with no music this entire week. I think I will blast it on an iPad here. Let's try that. I grabbed an iPad, the family slash my dad's iPad. Plugged it into the charger, then I'm doing everything according to the rules. Not illegal. Yes, I can use an iPad once it's plugged into the charger. Went to YouTube because Spotify wasn't on there. Clicked on workout music and got uh, got this list. Trap Nation 2018 best trap music. Hey guys, this is Andre from Trap Nation. Hope you're all Thanks Andre. What was the best song? Oh, this one, yeah, yeah. 
quickly want to record something with my phone. Nee, ook niet. But the most annoying things were the uh, the oh, let's look at my phone. Oh wait, there is no phone. Things. The man, the legend, the myth. Jij gaat gewoon gelijk all the way. Ja, ik uh, afkikken. <laughs> ja, dat zal zeker zo zijn. Oké, okay, so this is something I was afraid of. And uh, the first, uh, it, it didn't go so well. Because I cannot go on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's quite hard to announce a video. People know that I upload on Sunday and Thursday. Pe people know that, but not all of them. And they just need that notification, like a day up front, an hour up front. There will be a video in an hour or in a day. And now, now they just forgot. I'm just kind of interested in the result and how many effect the, the social media part really has. If it really impacts my reach or just that my last video wasn't enough clickbait. I mean, these things aren't optimal and they can be annoying sometimes. But they're not the worst. Oh no, the worst things that happened were... Uh, uh, how would I describe my experience? It, it wasn't that bad. Uh, actually, I, I, th I thought it was kind of great and I, I'm, I'm kind of missing it right now. But hey, that's me. What about the others? Oh, and uh, also something maybe worth mentioning. We, uh, we transformed the classroom into a studio for a week. It actually worked quite well. Okay, we're going to make this into our studio. <laughs> this studio was here for the students so they could walk in any moment and talk about their experiences, their problems, whatever. And they actually took it quite seriously, which was cool. They had a lot of the same experiences, problems, you know, missing an alarm. And then asking your mom to wake you up and she forgets that. <laughs> And of course the no music thing, probably the biggest problem according to some. And the students talked about their friends, teasing them for not having a phone. Like, hey, I'll text you later. Oh, wait, you don't, ah, uh, you don't have a phone. Or just parents calling them crazy that they joined. But there were some differences. Yeah, the others kind of had the same opinion as me. It was actually going pretty well and was less hard than they expected it to be. Some others really thought it was shit. <laughs> they even put it that way or even with, with, uh, with other words. I will not mention here. One of the most f***ed up things they've ever experienced. <laughs> but one thing they experienced that I didn't experience was they found it to be very hard to be bored. It kept coming back at their talks about how what, what they experienced every single day. They, they were bored. I didn't really experience that since I was already doing my thing every single day. Uh, school was over for me at that point. I was just waiting for my results and I was just making videos. I was doing other stuff and they were still going to school, coming home after school, making their homework, going on their phone during making their homework, going to bed with their phones. That was their life every single day. In this experiment, we also talked to teachers and older people, or let, let's call them wiser people, and they told us that is the biggest problem right now. This generation nowadays doesn't allow themselves to be bored. We, back in the day, we used to be bored all the time and we used to love it. We didn't call it being bored though, we called it relaxing. These people have lived a part of their life and some even the majority of their life without one of the biggest changes ever. The internet, their smartphones, they, they didn't know it back then. And I, frankly, fully agree with this. I think there is a significant difference between relaxing while being online than relaxing being offline. I love how one of the teachers gave an example of how she was loving the no phone life because of her correcting the answers of the students a lot faster instead of doing it in two days. He 
just corrected them in like two hours. Life is a lie. If the teacher is ever late showing you your results, probably because she was on her phone. But it's not only about the teacher being honest about how fast she can correct the answers now or how fast the students can make their homework now. Whoosh! I'm talking about everything and everyone. Let me give you a simple example that has a nice connection to my channel. Living the healthy lifestyle, proper nutrition, working out now and then. A question I get a lot, how do you combine your school, work, social life, relationships and also your healthy lifestyle? Simple answer, spending my time on the right stuff. And so can you, you know what, it, look, look at this. Heb je ook wel overwogen om te zeggen van weet je wat, ik ga die invloed gebruiken door bijvoorbeeld een vlog te maken en ook mijn volgers uit te dagen om een week of een paar weken of een dag uh, die telefoon gewoon opzij te leggen. Dat is op zich wel een goed idee. Het zou wel leuk zijn om... Uh, ja, misschien is dat bij deze gewoon een goede uitdaging, toch? Om je volgens eens uit te dagen en te kijken wat er dan gebeurt. En deel je ervaringen, ja. En deel je ervaringen. Ja. Worden je filmpjes niet meer bekeken, dat is wel... Dat ja, één week maar, hè? Ja, okay. Oh, dat is wel zo goed, want ja, de meeste verkeer komt via telefoon, maar... Uh... Ja. So, do you accept the challenge? I think it could be fairly interesting. Let me know if you accept the challenge. Keep me up to date. Direct message me on Instagram. Post your video link here in the comments. And make sure to share this video with someone who, uh, who could use this challenge. Who is a little bit too much on their phone, you know, we all know those people. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this, worked quite hard on it, and I hope the message got across and you got a little bit of useful, valuable information out of this. Subscribe, catch you guys in the next video. I love you back! <laughs>